Uh, that guitar. Oh, your ukulele. Uh, how dare you? Um, I keep meaning to make us. I want to make a stand for it, but I keep like not doing it. So there you go. It's still in a box. <laughs> Bubble box. Uh, hello and welcome to episode thirty-one. I think. Is it 31, boys? It is. Yes. <laughs> it is 31. Of uh, Syrup Happy Hour. My name is Mike. And joining me as always, uh, my co hosts, Lucas. That's right. Two in a row. Let's go. Two in a row. <laughs> Welcome back, dude. Again. <laughs> we did it. Uh, Brad, you're also here today. I am also here. Thank you. You sounded less excited about me being here. I'm a bit, a bit upset. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, let me try that again. Hey, Brad, welcome back. Welcome back to Hi, another Mike. episode. Is that, what you, is that what you wanted? Too late. But, um, uh, Rob, how, how would you like me to uh, introduce you? High energy or just like, I mean, either way, you're giving me the same. I feel like you just, I feel like you just did introduce me. <laughs> All right, we'll try again. Hold on. Uh, you don't have to do it again. It's fine. How come, Rob? I, I don't care. <laughs> you're not going to cry. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> uh, welcome back, guys, uh, to the show where we're going to talk uh, apparently a lot about trailers this week. There's a lot going on. But first, what, are we, what have we been up to this week? But f- before that, I suppose we back on to what we're drinking, even though we kind of talked about uh, Luke's <laughs> 10 inches prior to recording. I mean, it depends how you want to fucking take it. I mean, that's a lot to take. <laughs> How you want to take what? Sorry? Yeah, 10 inches? Say. What? I mean, Rob's gone. <laughs> He's crying already. <laughs> Look at it. Please like, check. There was like, f- like 50 innuendos in your half sentence right there. That was a full sentence. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, half, half a paragraph then. Whatever. Take it, bitch. Take those inches. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Luke, obviously, what are you drinking today? Um, inches cider. I mean, depending... Hence the, hence the cock jokes. Depending when this gets edited from, because I don't know when it's going to get edited from, and we've started <laughs> recording already, like, five minutes ago. Uh, Brad, what are you drinking today? I have, out of a four-pack... I don't know why I always do this, like, show it to the camera. I don't know who actually looks at it, but... Uh, I have a Hedge Monkey Glastonbury Real Ale, and then after that one, I have a Lady of the Lake Real Ale. I'm not normally an ale drinker, but I got them for my birthday, so nice man. I am joining you. I'm kind of joining you with the monkey. I am finishing off my. I mean, obviously with my nice skull plastic beaker. Uh, I'm drinking mon- monkey shoulder. I'll probably get told off for drinking. Are you actually drinking? <laughs> wait, wait. No, it's not lemonade. It's ginger ale. Because that's, ah, okay. that's what's recommended by them, apparently. Uh, Jack Daniels and ginger ales is really nice together. So I imagine it is quite nice. Ales? Ales, yeah. Ginger <laughs> ales? Which one? <laughs> ales world? up inside you. Yeah. Ales up inside you. Rob, what are you drinking today? I uh, mean, I know you showed the camera a JD glass. And JD and Co. Is uh-huh. there any left? We're not going to get to sample your lovely French accent. Nope. No wine this week. Why is the no, where's the, where's the wine? Uh, Sinasta. Is there a shortage down south? No, I just fancy the change. Yeah. They've run out. That was, was that was it. Was becoming your soul. Brexit means Brexit. We can't have French wine anymore. <laughs> I'm just wondering if he was tired of being done all the time. But anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Rob, what have you been up to this week, dude? Um, I say this week, the last two weeks. Working. List every single thing um, you've done. I've slept, weeks. I've slept a little bit. Um, just a little bit. <laughs> you played, sound tired, Played dude. Destiny quite a lot. I mean, Mobby surprise. Mobby sleeping. Um, Standard. More than working. No, I've worked hard the last two weeks. Uh, <laughs> Bollocks. No, I have. <laughs> There's a first for everything, Luke. Come on. Yeah, that's it, pretty much. Yeah. You've been catching you up. you watched something. Did I? Before we started, yeah. Oh, yeah, I just finished yeah. a film. 
uh, Jungle Cruise. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to elaborate. <laughs> no, to, to be fair, you also said you um, when when we spoke this week that you'd been catching up. Oh all. yeah, no, I uh, yeah. I still haven't. Oh no, I did finish it actually. Did you finish it? I haven't finished it yet. I've still not finished it yet. I've watched all the Fear Street films. Oh bloody hell! Yeah. Wow. Check you out. I didn't expect Can that. You... It's not like. I don't know what you think, Luke, but it's quite surprising that the two people on this podcast that don't like horror films have sat down and watched all three Fear Street films. Yeah, but they're not what I would class as horror films. They're more... That they're not jump scary like Insidious and stuff, are they? They're more slasher like like Scream and I Know What You Did Last Summer and sort of that ill, can't they? Yeah, they're definitely like a throwback to the old... um, 90s kind of horror i want to say horror but they're not even they're not really horror there's no, definitely some gruesome bits like you said last time like the opening of the first one's pretty brutal what, rob what did you think of the the trilogy did you no, enjoy I, it or? i really enjoyed it otherwise obviously otherwise i wouldn't have kept watching them all i don't know maybe you were comatose couldn't move i, I don't know you might have been stuck in it no i watched paralyzed. like watch the first one then watch half the second one in like a sitting and then i watched the second half and I watched the first half of the third one and then watched the end of that. It's difficult to watch those films when you've got five kids, so I keep having to turn them, <laughs> off, turn them off and on because they're fun. not really appropriate. What? Since when? <laughs> when did you care about watching films like that in front of your kids? Um, since last week when I started watching these films. Okay. okay. <laughs> I just know normally you don't really care. It's like, oh, fuck it, kids. We're no, there's Cheryl that doesn't really care. I care. Oh, uh, okay. Cheryl's like, Cheryl's my sit wife, down. For people who don't know. Sit down, boys and girls. We're going to watch a good <laughs> film called Saw, where a man chops off his own foot. Spoilers to a. Just said he doesn't. Oh, he you does. have to be careful about two of your kids, though, don't you? Mm. So obviously, the, tw- the twins really have got still no idea what's going on. Yeah, true. Your eldest is old enough to be okay with those sorts of movies, I suppose. Plus, he wouldn't be in the room anyway. And yeah. and that, yeah, he never comes out of his bedroom, does he? So, no, oh, you're right. How how was Jungle Cruise? I know, I know, you mentioned that a second ago. Yes, good. Yeah, is what is this a rock movie? Is it as good <laughs> as Pirates of the Caribbean? Uh, with a uh, random uh, comparison, <laughs> well, because it's based off a Disney ride. Oh, okay. Sorry, I see. They're both based on Disney rides, and it's it's supposed to be like a swashbuckling adventure or something, isn't it? I haven't seen it, so yeah. I mean, Money. if I watched the trailer, like, like when it was announced ages ago, and I was like, I really wanted to watch it because it looked funny. It mm-hmm. wasn't as funny as the trailer made out, but it was good. Nice, uh, Luke. What have you been up to? Um, working a lot, playing a lot of Tarkov. I watched the third of the Fear Street movies, so I've seen them all as well, because I think I'd only watched the first two when we recorded two weeks ago. Yeah. And uh, I've been watching quite a bit of the Olympics, to be fair. And then Friday night, I think it was... No, that was last night, wasn't it? Thursday night, I managed to stay awake all the way through the um, Tomorrow War movie. Oh, really? Yeah, because I was shit face drunk the first time I tried to watch it and fell asleep after about oh, 20 right. minutes. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember <laughs> you saying that you'd watched it, but I can't remember what you thought of it. What do you reckon? I feel like there's a lot of stupid moments in it, but. There's, it, there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of stupid moments. There's a lot of what I call Independence Day moments. So it's just like little one liners, you know, like smack, welcome to Earth, and all that sort of bollocks. But it, it's enjoyable, you know, take your brain out for two hours and just watch people shoot quote-unquote aliens i feel like the alien's pretty cool i think it's probably one of the coolest alien designs i've seen for a while or at least interesting yeah it was good that they completely made their own style of are we are they aliens are we calling them aliens i guess they spoiler alert they came on a spaceship eventually didn't they so yeah i mean yeah are you are you looking forward to seeing the sequel what there's a sequel coming. Are you looking forward to seeing it? It'll probably be awful, but I'll watch it. Yeah. I don't think there needs to be a sequel of that movie, to be fair. It, it did really well. I think it did really well. I, th- I think they announced it literally like the week after it came out, because it was number one on like the Amazon Prime. Wasn't Yeah. Or something like that. Wasn't 
well loved with the critics, though, was it? No, it didn't do very well with the critics at all. Uh, Brad, what have you been up to? Um, yeah, so I, I, I also watched part two and part three of Fear Street because I think I'd only watched the first one last episode. I really enjoyed it as well. They're, they're really, really good. Um, don't think I've watched much else, but um, I've been playing Sekiro quite a lot, which I'm doing a lot better at this time than I did the first time, which is nice. Yeah, I've done a lot better with Sekiro today. I actually had like a couple of hours playing it straight, so yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah, that's good. And then um, I tried Pokemon Unite on Switch yesterday, which is a free. Uh, it's like a MOBA, so like imagine League of Legends or Dota Two, but like very simplistic. And I played that with a couple of our mates. It was really nice. good. It was good fun. And I also did a terrible thing that I've been thinking about doing for a while, which is I created a new RuneScape account, which is a MMO I used to play a long time ago. Uh oh. And I've yeah, uh oh. <laughs> Big uh oh, because I've already put a lot of time into it. <laughs> How long have you put into RuneScape since you've created a new account? Uh, I don't know. Off the top of my head, quite a few hours, and I only created it the other day. More than Rob's played Destiny this week? No, probably not. Okay. But like when I originally played that game back in 2004, maybe. Have you got any interest in that new like, MMO that's out at the moment? New world, new world. Oh, uh, I've not really looked at it to be honest. I yes, I, I feel like this is a bit of a catch me too because like I can't because there's nothing really capturing my attention at the minute. I was like, I kind of fancy going playing like Elder Scrolls or New World or something, just something where you just kind of go off and do so, like something of that vein, much like when we used to play Star Wars: The Old Republic, Rob. Um, yeah. My worry is the fact that New World's apparently been bricking graphics cards. So no, they, fi- like, they fixed that now. Have they fixed it now. It was the they, um, they refunded people as well, didn't they? If it bricked it, what <laughs> they refunded the game or the graphics? No, card. the card. Didn't they like? <laughs> I was I'm sure I saw something about. <clears throat> I'm sure I saw something like that. But they nice. haven't got thirty ninety either, have you? Well, no, it I wasn't don't. just thirty nineties. It wasn't. It was. Uh, it was. It was because they weren't limiting the FPS, FPS in yeah. menus. Oh, nice. Lo- loading no. screens were trying to hit 9,000 FPS and bricking cards. <laughs> no, I, I was talking to somebody at work about it, and he said like he tried to jump on, and the servers had gone to shit. But this was like literally the first day, and that's probably the worst time to jump on anyway. But he said it was really good from what he's played. But they've just wiped all the servers, I think, this weekend. And then at the end of, the, end of August or beginning of September or something like that, the... Um, it's like the official launch of the game. Because it was only a beta, so people put all that time into the game over the past couple of weeks, and then it's just been wiped. Is this yeah. one that's on Amazon or something? Yeah. It's the one, yeah. yeah. This is why I don't understand why there's server issues, because Amazon own all the servers. Yeah, you'd so think... you'd think they'd have the infrastructure to run a game. But, okay. I, I did... I did just remember me and Laura finished The Watch as well on BBC, which is the Terry Pratchett thing. Nice. It was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, uh, A lot of people were saying if you like the books, then don't watch it because it strays very far away from what it's supposed to be. Does it? Damn. But I enjoyed it. But uh, it doesn't sound like a lot of people that like Terry Pratchett books don't uh, like it. I I don't think we're going to see any more of it. I'd be surprised. Uh, Rob, very quickly, just going back to you. You said you saw the what the season three trailer for Titans. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but apparently they're talking about Bruce Wayne or something a little bit more because you know he's playing Bruce Wayne in it, don't you? The Do you know the, the guy from Game of Thrones. Yeah, the one that was obsessed with Khaleesi. I can't remember what his actual uh, name was. Jorah. I can't yes. remember his actual name. I say Jorah, Jorah of L, but it's not Jorah of L. Mormon. He's a Mormon, isn't he? Yeah, draw, draw, draw. yeah. He's also the bad guy in John Wick. Is it John Wick two? John Wick three? Didn't he end up with? Um, he's in John Wick, isn't he? Because he might be John Wick three when they go to see him. 
He's got the two dogs. No, she's got the two dogs. I, somebody help me here. Uh, I get, they, get confused. <laughs> he, go, he goes with Halle Berry to go see him. I'm pretty sure he's the bug. He's the um one of the bad guys. One of the Game of Thrones dudes in the first one, isn't he? Are you not thinking of that? Uh, the what the hell's his name? Dude who gets his dick cut off. I don't remember that in John Wick. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, right, okay. But in Game the, of Thrones, that that guy, the fat, the fat guy, the fat bald guy. No, 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 no. Uh, huh? the, I, oh. the Iron Islands dude. What the hell is his name? Oh, that's Alfie Allen, isn't it? Is that his name? In real know, life, I can't remember. I'm gonna the one, the one that gets called um, Reek. <laughs> yes, him. Yeah. yeah, that's his real life name is Alfie Allen. It's Lily Allen's little brother. Mm. Ah. I didn't know that. Oh, so, I, the funny thing off the back of um, Fear Street, I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but um, obviously Fear Street's been doing really well and kind of jo uh, John Wick, they've been on about this Continental TV show for a long time. I don't know if you guys remember us. I, I think we talked about it. Um, I don't know if we talked about it privately or not, but they're actually just going to turn it into a three-part mini kind of movie series thing now. Yeah. So... Uh, but it's going to have like a proper movie budget behind it, but just be kind of three parts, which I, I think is kind of cool instead of doing it as a TV show. I think show. it's got like 50 million behind it or something. Yeah, that's a fair amount. That's probably the same as, I want to say the first John Wick. I know it's like, I know Deadpool was made for like 50 million, 50, 60 million. So, I mean, it's a fair, fair amount of um, money towards it. Uh, what have I been up to over the last couple of weeks? I, to be honest, I've been watching a lot of shit TV. Uh, my wife was watching Sex Life on Netflix, which was kind of boring. Not really my cup of tea. Um, but I was downstairs playing my Switch. I watched Book of Saw. I don't know if anybody else has seen the Book of Saw. Luke, you seen the Book of Saw yet? No. It's not great. I I was really hoping that was going to be good because I watched. I think ro went over Rob's house ages ago, and we watched the the three D one. What was the three D one? Was it Saw Five or something? Saw 3D. Yeah, saw 3D. I never saw Jigsaw. I never saw Jigsaw. Um, I don't know what it was called. Uh, I think it was the fourth one that was 3D. I don't know. Yeah, it was going through that whole fad, and I just remember it being like, they had like the pink blood on the screen, and it just looked absolutely terrible, and they had like people's intestines, but it was obviously like sausages being thrown at you. And yeah, I'm... I don't know. It was supposed to be like a reboot slash kind of continuation. And it kind of does really well. And then halfway through it, it just kind of goes, here's the villain. And kind of has like a Star Wars moment where he's like, come join me and we can rule together. And I'm like, eh, nah, I'm, I'm good. I don't really like that. Um, I did watch Space Jam. I don't know if anybody's seen Space Jam yet. I refuse. I what, no, I'm, having not, kids. I'm not going to watch it. Uh, I know, Luke, Luke, you love the original Space Jam film. I do love the original Space Jam film, yeah. <clears throat> it's a film. There's no... I don't know. If you've got kids, you probably, they'll probably enjoy it, but I didn't think that much of it. Um, Mike, you should, if, uh, I, if, if I ever have kids, I'm showing them the original, not this fucking new... There's a, oh, the, the, something I watched <laughs> this week, because I did watch the original... No, the old one, the new one with my kids. Mm -hmm. I also sat and watched... Teen Titans watch Space Jam. What? This is actually a film that's just come out. I'm not even sure. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's on. It's on Amazon. I'm not sure. Can't remember what I watched on. Oh, they watched the original one. It's it's basically it starts like an episode of Teen Titans, and then the the aliens come, and like they sit down and watch the film, and they like they. Uh, it's like a commentary. It's really good. Okay. The, the, only the original thing I would one, say, yeah. The, the only thing I would say with the new one, uh, you've seen the new one, have you, Rob? Yeah, I said that last yeah. time we recorded. Oh, right. I, I can't remember. It was two weeks ago. I can't remember what I did yesterday. Um, I said I can't remember what I did yesterday. It wasn't very good. It was a rage fest. Anyway. Um, it de definitely felt like Warner Brothers were throwing every single property they had at this film for the yeah. sake, just literally for the sake of it. But 
even to the point where there's like the nun. I'm pretty sure the nuns in there and like horror characters in a kids film. So they have like a crowd moment, and it kind of reminds me of Ready Player One. So they, you know, where in Ready Player One you see like in the background all these like hints to other characters, like the yeah, you see like the Iron Giant, don't you, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, well, they've got the Iron Giant and King Kong and stuff like that. But then I, you're seeing horror characters in here as well. I'm like, but this is a kids' film. Why would you put that in a kid? Anyway, doesn't matter. It, because yeah, the it's it. fine. <laughs> yeah, that that's literally the only reason. That's a, it's fine. It might be because uh, in the original, they pointed this out on the the Teen Titans thing that they used like the same four characters in the crowd, just. Dotted around, like copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. Oh, do they? Yeah, but that would have been how they would have done like the old cartoons anyway. So no, no. it was just very obvious. It's funny. That makes sense. Uh, I think the last thing I watched, I don't know if Luke had a chance to watch it or not. I watched Quiet Place one and two back to back, and I really enjoyed that first a Quiet Place film, and then the second one is just like. It, it's so good. I I really enjoyed it. Um, I just like the fact it's like a it's a straight up continuation off the back of the first one, and I I'm looking forward to a third one when it when it comes because it's it's on the way. Would you recommend so, watching them back to back? Because I haven't yes. seen either of these films yet. I would say definitely watch them back to back. Um, I literally sat down one night and watched both of them back to back. That does sound like a good evening, to be fair. Yeah, it was. And the thing is, I had a friend at work who said he. He watched them. Um, he watched like one ages ago, but didn't go back and watch it, and then didn't think the second one was as good. But I don't know. Maybe it was just me. Maybe I'm just don't really care that that much about it. But it was just the fact that to me it didn't really change. So you, you, if, when you're it was like watching part episode one, episode two. It was just direct continuation, and I don't really expect anything more or less for it, from it. But then he he was getting. It's quite funny because there's bits that happen. And it, it's a it's a film. You know, and when you get like stupid story points in it, and he was getting really snarky about it, I was like, no, nah, it's fine. Maybe I, I just don't pick up on certain things that other people do and that people get pissed off with. Like some of the trailers we talked about today, it was like, well, why would you have a jigsaw on the floor? I mean, because there is, there's a jigsaw in the floor. But hey, let's get down to some of the stuff that we're talking about today. Uh, Brad, what do you want to talk about first? Oh, where's uh, he get to pick? I, go, I don't know. I didn't expect that. Let's go, Jackass. Yeah. So for a film that Brad didn't give a fuck about at all, I asked Brad, Brad, are you looking forward to Jackass? And you're like, I don't give a fuck at all about Jackass. What did you reckon in the trailer for Jackass Forever or Jackass Four, whatever you want to call it? Um. So just to clear, like clear up why I didn't give a fuck. So I I liked the original stuff, but then it was like, do I really just want to watch like fifty year old men like kick themselves in the balls? I was like, not really. <laughs> and then I watched the trailer, and now I'm kind of like, that looks pretty fucking funny to be honest. I'm, so. on, I'm on board. I think I messaged you guys. I'm on board. Um, Johnny Knoxville is I, starting to look like his grandpa character, isn't he? Though. He is really sad, <laughs> like bad grandpa. Um, Rob, what was it like seeing the boys back on the big on on the screen again? Uh, yeah, there's was, was missing a f- couple of guys, but yeah, it looks good. Yeah, unfortunately, Bam is not in this one by the looks of it. Uh, I think he's actually gone to rehab now. I'm not quite sure what's happened with that. I know Brad said he, he I think you said he had a restraining order. Yeah, I can't remember which one is. I, th- I can't remember. It's one of them. Uh, restraining order against him. Uh, Luke, did you watch Jackass growing up? I said growing up, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, I I did. I've only seen the first movie though. What? Yeah. It's it just. It, I think it got to that point where I was just like, because they're not that different, are they? Every episode was kind of the same, and the movie was just a really long episode of Jackass, so it wasn't anything original. So I just got bored of it, to be honest. And I'm Maybe. I'm I'm at the same place where. Brad was before he watched the trailer. I, I don't want to watch really middle-aged men kicking themselves in the testicles anymore. So, 
don't know. I feel like there's some pretty good pranks in this one. Like the, I mean, you watch the trailer, the bike, the, you know, where you cycle straight into a bloody wall. Yeah, it's kind of like a screen with the background on it, and then you cycle straight into it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting there was that. Good stuff in this trailer. It it does. Yeah. Look funny. I want to see how the bear thing plays out because yeah, looks yeah. scary as fuck. <laughs> Aaron's face just was like, oh my god, oh my god. Um, Rob, I I know you've seen all the Jackass films. Do you not think they get better? I think I feel like they get better each one. Well, yeah, they have to up the ante, don't they? Yeah. So I think. I think it's kind of unfair based off just the first film. I know you haven't seen the other ones, but also there's like additional cuts to the second and the third one as well. It's like a 2.5 and a 3.5, which is like the X, it's like unrated or X rated editions. I can't remember, but they're, they're all on Netflix, I think as well. Out. Um, but yeah, it was, it's nice to see it. It kind of felt like your old friends were back on back on screen again because you know i remember watching these guys when i was like 15 16 years old and yeah it's nice to have them back after all this time and they've got like a, they've got some new cast members in there as well to kind of continue the uh I, I don't know if it's like a passing of the torch or what but um it's quite nice to see uh andre is it andre eric i can't remember his name is it eric andre yeah, I know the guy you mean. I can't remember his name. Yeah, Eric. I think Eric Andre's in there. Um, and there's a there's a couple other new cast members. Like MGK's one of them, in there. Yeah, MGK's in there. There's a guy called Poopies in there, which I think he does something with sharks, from what I've heard. There's like a whole shark attack thing in this. I don't know. Anyway, it looks good. It looks nuts. It's was it September? I think it's like September October the time this thing comes out. Not long to go. Um, did anybody watch the Battlefield Portal announcement trailer? No. No. So no, but I, but I know I know what it is. I haven't watched sell, the trailer. Sell it but... to me. How how do I sell it to you? Okay, so basically, is this, is this a separate game? This is okay. So, you, so when you buy Battlefield twenty forty two, Rob. You get when I multi- buy about the, yeah, right. when you when, <laughs> when you just <laughs> literally you just you buy Battlefield twenty forty two. Okay, so you get the main you get your main multiplayer. There's no campaign in this, okay? But I feel like it's justified from what they've said. Plus nobody play, plays a campaign half the time anyway. I've n I don't think I've played the last three. Um okay, so you've got your main campaign, which is like seven maps, god knows how many classes, all the rest of it. Then you've got this other mode, which I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, that's supposed to be different for Battlefield, a bit survival slash escape from Tarkov. We'll see. I- I'm in- I'm intrigued. Luke's pulling a fill- face, but we'll see. Uh, and then you've got Battlefield 2042 portals mode, and it is effectively um, maps, classes, vehicles from... The 1942 Battlefield game, Bad Company 2, and I think it's either Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 5. And it's customizable as hell. So you can go in. It, it, it's pretty much... Do you remember when we used to do um, rent a server, shotguns, and we'd run around with shotguns and kill each other for like hours on end between like eight of us? You can essentially do that but with 128 people, 124 people. But the difference is, is the fact that you've got these different classes, these different vehicles from different games, different time spans. So you can you can be flying a Spitfire, and then you can have somebody from 2042 shooting down a Spitfire with like a tracking rocket launcher and all the rest of it. Okay. But they also showed in this trailer a face-off. So there's, a, there's like 60 players either side. You've got like the battlefield, like... 1942 side with knives you got the the bad company side with defibs and they both go to war <laughs> and it looks fucking nuts so you can have knifey knifey spoon in this game <laughs> i don't know i don't know how that sounds to you guys but it looks all those like funny ass moments that you want to do shit with this looks looks like it's going to be the mode plus rob you've got arica harbor you've got caspian border it looks like you got white pass in this game 
So all of this map, and they're going to introduce maps and stuff from the other games as well. So it looks pretty cool. I think Metro is in it as well. I'm not sure if Battlefield 3 or 4 is one of the modes you can pick, but I think Metro is in it. I think Metro is in it. Um, I'm not 100%, but I know definitely maps from... They they literally showed like the grenade from Bad Company 2. It's like, this is a throwback. So Bad Company 2 map maps are in there, which is what people have called out for a while. They wanted a Bad Company 2 remake... And instead, it's been it's it's an add-on. So this, by the sounds of it, there's three pretty big um, multiplayer modes in this, and obviously you're gonna get a season pass. And this is, they're just gonna continue this now. I think they're just gonna keep adding to it, and they're probably gonna add from the other fran like the other franchises as well, like Battlefield One, Three, Four, Five, and One, all the rest of it. But yeah, I don't know how that sounds to you guys. Did he sell it to you, Rob? No. No. Doesn't sound as good as Destiny. <laughs> Luke, thoughts? Um, you're not a very good salesman. No, I'm not. That, but that's, 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 that needs the same for a start. Um, it's, the, it's the trailer, <laughs> though. That's why the trailer's there. Uh, it's not for me. Second of all... If I'm going to buy Battlefield 4 2042, it will be on the strength of Battlefield 2042, not the Tarkov mode or the Portals mode or the campaign. To be fair, it's, mm. I'm I'm on the fence with Battlefield 2042 at the moment. I'll, Battlefield I'll, multiplayer in general is really good. Yeah, and that's that's what I want this to be good at. Because was it Battlefield? What, what was the latest one? Was it five or? Yeah, that one wasn't. No. See, the problem is, do you remember, we? I, th- I think you and me played it. You and me played Battlefield 4. Pretty sure it was like Battlefield 4 on PC. We, on. we played 4 on PC after, when we first ported onto PC from PlayStations, and then we played 1 a fair bit as well, didn't we, when we got the, is it the Origin Battle Pass or whatever it's called? Yeah, but I feel like it's a very skewed way of viewing it, because you're joining a game. We We were joining a game on a different platform, and starting from scratch, when you have people that have been playing this, they've been playing Battlefield 4 for years, you know. And you and we, you end up in that situation where you're like, oh, fuck, I'm dead. Or they, because they've got better weapons and they've put more, more, like, a ton of more time into it over the last couple of years versus us starting off with base weapons and all the rest of it. It's quite, it, I feel like it's quite difficult to jump in on an FPS, at, you know, at that point. Maybe it's just me. Mm, I kind of get your point, but I don't think it really matters that much. The, no. I, think, I think the thing that matters on something like Battlefield, really, would, would, taking your point where they put a lot of hours in, is map knowledge. Yeah, definitely. The, the weapons are the weapons, aren't they? There's not, there's not that much difference. They're always quite well balanced, in my opinion, anyway. But Yeah, they are pretty well balanced. I, I, I seem to remember we had a pretty good time. In, I can't remember. I know we played Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5. I know we played the beta for one of them. And I know we played... The, the beta was 5. Was it 5? Yeah, yeah we, played, I... we played 1 a lot on the Origin Battle Pass. And we played 4 quite a bit. But did we play 1 on the PlayStation as well when it first came out? I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. It's been that, that long since we switched over. I think um, we did. I think we did, did it. We? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, but, I might have played it with you guys, but I played it on PlayStation. The game. I, I'm, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I'm definitely looking forward to it returning to like a more modern setting, like back to what it was for Battle, Battlefield 3 and 4. I, I just, I really want to have those dumbass moments like that we used to have in Battlefield that I used to enjoy doing, like flying around in helicopters and smashing into stuff with quad bikes and. It, like it just remember it being a blast like we'd get on hovercrafts and you know fly around uh, not hover not fly but obviously you'd be f- gliding around a map and chucking freaking c4 on boats and suicide bombing and i remember like the whole c4 suicide bombing boats with um the boats they had on there i can't remember what you know what i mean proud yeah, like the jet skis and the little dinghies. Yeah, the jet skis and that. Yeah, I just remember you that really being... Do, you can't really do that on one. Or no. I, I never really played five, so... No, none of that was really in there. It was, it was like stripped back to bare bones, and you don't have... I mean, you could do it a little bit, but those fun moments, it felt like it was kind of took back. Sorry, Luke, what are you... 
I was just going to ask if they had jet skis in World War One. Yes, they did. All right, cool. Okay. Yes, one hundred percent. From one FPS to another, I suppose we've got to talk about the. I don't know if it's a swear word. Uh, have any? Has everybody seen the trailer for X Defiant? Sorry, I better phrase this properly. Tom Clancy's X Defiant. Luke's already pulling a face. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Rob. Have you seen the trailer for Tom Clancy's X Defiant, which mashes up multiple Tom Clancy franchises into the FPS game that everybody wanted? <laughs> everybody. Everybody, yes. <laughs> Is that is that like a a blanket statement? Is that I don't know. Yeah. I'm not speaking. I'm not speaking on behalf of everybody. I'm just saying this is definitely what everybody wanted, right, Rob? I'm not speaking on behalf of everybody, but it's what everybody <laughs> wants. Okay. I mean, I don't think they really know what they're doing. A <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucking men. I, don't, I mean, how many, how many times have you said that about a Tom Clancy game? I feel uh, like you've said that a lot in the past. I don't, I don't dude. But <laughs> did, did, did no one else get that from the trailer? Like, here's a game. We don't know what we're doing with it, but here's what it could be. But I doubt this is what it's going to be when it comes out. <laughs> yeah? Can you do me a pitch? So, like... Can you do me a pitch? So we're, we're you know, with the, with the team at Ubisoft, please pitch me that game. <laughs> no, pitch me that game. What no. what what is that game? Come on. I mean, the gunplay looks fun, and and that, that's it? that's what they said they've concentrated on. Yeah, gunplay first. It's just it looks absolutely like absolutely no recoil on any of those weapons, but oh, it looks like Call of Duty, doesn't it? Like even the reticle down to the reticle on it. But it, it looks. It does, it does look like the gameplay mode. They, it looks like Overwatch, sort of, but with a COD skin. But then, if it was Overwatch, then the TTK is really short compared to Overwatch. So and it's a Ubisoft game, so it can't be really short. Is that right, Luke? <laughs> Has to be bullet spongy. Oh no! Look at Siege. Just like. Not discount in siege. Okay, you can literally get it on discount. Uh, Brad, what did you think of the extra phone trial? Tra- trial. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a big old <laughs> meh for me. <laughs> I Are don't you know. Looking... Just, I'd, I'd rather get Overwatch two to be honest when that yeah, comes out. <laughs> and you have to buy that. This is free to play. <laughs> yeah, free to play. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I don't know. I don't think this is really what people wanted. I think it's a bit unfair to put the Tom Clancy name on it. Um, It's not really a Tom Clancy. I don't know. I'm sure Tom Clancy Clancy borrowed certain things from other games, though, right? Yeah. Like there's cleaners in it. Uh, What's the other faction that's in it from Division? I can't remember. And like know, one, one, of the, one of the map, one of the maps that, I was, that you see in the trailer is actually an incursion you get the aqu- from the division. Yeah, you get the aquarium, don't you? I'm pretty sure in this. No, it's like the you aquarium? know that um that incursion that ends up with like you're in like a western area. Uh, yeah. Signal. yeah, yeah, stolen signal. That whole is that it? western area was in. Was the, one of the maps. The, that was the very end fight, wasn't it? The western area. Yeah. Uh, Luke, is it a yay or a nay from you? Do you really have to ask? <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think why why can't they just make another Splinter Cell or Vegas or something that people actually really liked? Because that to... would cost. Gone. No, no, you go first. Because they can't keep having to reinvent the wheel. I, they just feel like they have to. I think. And that would also cost money. Mm. Whereas X Defiant looks like it's been made based on the cheapest bidder, i.e. we can make you a game, it'll be free to play, so we can fill it full of microtransactions, but we'll borrow the assets from every other game you've ever made and we'll just stick Tom Clancy's name on it. <laughs> yeah, That's probably how they pitched it, Luke. Well done. 
What's the cheapest? Yeah. What's the cheapest way to build? Yeah. I got all that time they saved the money by just taking assets from other games. Assets or assets? Assets. Okay, let's move on to hopefully a bit of a better game. Uh, Back for Blood. There's a beta next weekend. Are we all playing it, or is it just the three of us next weekend, Luke? Is this the zombie game thing that you put in chat the other week when I was at work and literally <laughs> opened the message to get the notification off my phone? Yes. <laughs> cool. Um, I mean, I maybe? Was, you could have just said yes or no. <laughs> I don't, we didn't need a background story to it, but go on. Well, you know, unlike Rob, who... Seems to work very hard, but can read messages at work. I do work really hard and can't. So the notification was pissing <laughs> no, me off. So it was like open, close. Wait, 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 wait. You messaged me. When did you message me this week? And I was like, holy fuck, Luke's messaging during the day. Unless it was before you went to work. Or on the way to work. Obviously not on the way to work, because you were driving. You wouldn't message whilst you were driving, would you, Luke? No. I'd talk on the phone whilst I was driving, but I wouldn't text you. <laughs> um, I, I can't remember that shit. No, I'm not um, I don't know. I haven't seen the trailer for it or anything, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not. I'm completely out of the loop with game trailers at the moment, so I'll, I'll check that out and let you know. I mean, okay, it's a zombie maybe. game, dude. <laughs> seen one, yeah. seen them all. <laughs> I yeah. guess so. Yeah. Um, I had, I've had fun playing the zombie games that we because we went for a little phase of like trying like three or four different zombie games out every weekend, didn't we? So that was yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it, I think this is more of a it looks like a higher budget version of the I, I want to say the Killing Floor, but I mean this this game is basically Left for Dead, but with a different title. So it's Back for Blood. And it's made by the same developers that made. I think it's like the same team or something behind it. So it's it's literally. Uh, I can't remember the word. It's like the spiritual su- successor for the the original franchise, and they've took it. And I think the original franchise was owned by Xbox, and this is now obviously on all consoles. Not that it matters because it would have been on PC. Um, but yeah, I, I I think it looks really good. Rob, did you get a chance to check out the PC trailer for this no. this week? No. Um, are you interested? Uh, zombies, guns, killing people, co-op. Interested? Yes. No. Yes. Cool. Um. Brad, you saw you had, you actually checked out the trailer for this before we recorded today. What do you reckon? It looks fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be getting the beta to give it a go. Beta. I think beta. it. I think it looks better than World War Z. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and I know we had. I would say that we had a lot, a great deal of fun playing World War Z. So I. I... Is it hey, that it sort, so, is that sort it, of it vein? Like... Is it that sort of vein game that you go through missions as a cop? Or is it yeah. just like a horde mode? No, no, you go through it. There's proper missions in this, but it looks like it goes absolutely fucking nuts in a couple of bits. There's like huge bosses and shit that come through. There's shitloads of zombies. You got axes. There's we- it's Left 4 Dead. I, if it seems to remember Left 4 Dead having like random ass weapons you could use. I don't know because I never, I never had a chance to play because I believe it was on Xbox 360. I, I know you played. Did you play it on Xbox 360, Rob? Probably. Good job. What? I can't remember. That's no, like... I... When was that? A co- uh, like the console to have? Like, what, 10 years ago? If not more? Yeah, I can't not remember. Yet. Yeah, we're two generations on from that, anyway. Okay, so... Uh, down to trailers. So we got some pretty big trailers this week. Uh, obviously, we've talked about Jackass. Um, has anyone had a chance to check out the Dune trailer? Yes, I Luke, have. Rob, is there a new one? Yes, there is a new one. No. Okay. Is it better than the first one? It's definitely more action packed than the first one. There's a lot more going on on and out. Uh, are you interested in the film? Yes. Rob. Luke. Yes. I don't know what the pitch would be for this. I feel like it. I feel like the pitch for this film is Game of Thrones in space with a shitload of action by the looks of the trailer, the latest trailer. But I feel like tits and dragons in space. Yes, definitely. Well, I replaced the the dragons with sandworms, and you definitely covered maybe. So there's still tits. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Brad, I know you checked out the trailer for this. What do you reckon in the trailer, dude? It looks good. Like, 
I said to you before, I, I don't know a whole lot about the books. I've never read them, so I don't really know what's going on as such, but it just looks really good. It's it's piqued my interest and it's made me want to read the book just from the yeah. trailer. So there's a huge cast behind this. I, I can't remember everybody who's in it, but you've got um Timothy, I want to say Willy Wonka himself, Ch- Timothy Chalamet. Uh, you've got Dave Batista. Who else is in this, Brad? Oscar Isaac. Know. Oscar Isaac. You Josh are... Brolin. Jason Mamar. Yeah, uh, the woman from Spider Man. Like, I can never remember her name. Zendaya? Daya? Daya? How yeah. do you say that? Yeah, it, it looks good. I, I hope it does well because obviously it's Denny Villeneuve. He did Prisoners. He's in a shit ton of films with Jake John Hall. Blade uh, Runner. Blade Runner. He did Arrival with um, Amy Adams and Jeremy Renner, I think, off the top of my head. It's a, um, a good director with a really good cast. And big budget. Yeah, yeah, big budget, yeah. I think I said to you before the other two came on, if this bombs, it's gonna lose a shit ton of money. <laughs> See, I, I got told you should go watch the whatever the original Dune film is. I think it's David David Fincher. I think David Fincher's original film. And I was like, I don't want to spoil this film because I don't want to know. I like I read half the book, which is approximately what this film is. And I can't remember all of what happens. So I don't really want to recap it with something that's, from what I've heard, not a, not a very good rendition of that book. It's a tough so, read, though, isn't it? If I remember rightly. Yeah, it's, it's, a bit it's like not. like Cloud Atlas really... in, like, in the fact that it's not. Oh, no. Cloud, Cloud Atlas is easier, I think, than reading yeah. this. Okay. That's a book I, I keep meaning to read, actually. I think it's a really good book. The, the only problem with the Cloud Atlas film is the the huge hints that you get all the way through the film of Tom Hanks' character. Um, basically screwing over the, the guy at the beginning, if I remember right. But you don't get that Spoilers. until literally the last... It's, what, a 10-year-old film now? I can't remember how You managed to film. convince me to watch that film with you in the cinema, and I had no yeah. idea what it was. <laughs> no, I know, I know. <laughs> It was so well. You remember me reading it, but like they don't give away like the, the whole thing with um, Tom Hanks until literally the last few pages of the book, and then they kind of, it's like, oh look, it's happening, it's happening, it's him. Look at it, it's this guy. It's like you don't need to make it so fucking obvious anyway. I listened to um, that book on while we were working while we were working at Ultra. Yeah, I read that book whilst we were working at Ultra. Uh, has anybody checked out any of the other trailers that we have down for today? You've not checked any of them. You two suck. <laughs> um, I've watched one of them because Mike put it in chat, and I watched it instantly, and I gave him a thumbs, thumbs up. up, but no comment after that. No you son of a bitch. Okay, <laughs> so we might as well talk about it. Um, the film that I'm probably most excited about this year, aside from everything else, uh, is Ghostbusters Afterlife. Um, the trailer dropped on what was it Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday or Wednesday this week, and I was like, I'm going to wait till I get home to watch this trailer. I'm definitely going to wait till I get home to watch this trailer. I did not wait till I got home to watch this trailer. Um, I fucking love it. I really You love put, like, <laughs> the the URL for the freaking YouTube link in our, in our <laughs> chat within minutes of it being released on YouTube. So I'm assuming you were sat in, I'm assuming you were sat there hitting F5. Well, I literally, no, I... Because obviously YouTube pings you with notifications, and oh, okay. I already I already subscribed to that channel on YouTube. Of course, you anyway. do. The thing is, I was watching the animated series, so they were pinging every time they were sending notifications every time a new episode was put up weekly. Because all the real Ghostbusters and the Extreme Ghostbusters episodes are up. Yeah, thanks for that. It's... I went for a little bit of a lit down a rabbit hole after I watched that trailer. Did you? Mm. What watching the extreme? The extreme. Yeah. <laughs> um, did did anybody watch the commentary with Jason Reitman? I don't know if either no. of you saw that. Did you see that, Rob? No. He sat down with the IGN. He basically broke down the trailer. At, at, I did watch it. It's about fifteen minutes long. Um, I guess straight over to you, Rob. What do you reckon of the Ghostbusters trailer? It's really good. 
Do you want me to elaborate? Elaborate. Yeah. <laughs> what 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 has you it, what has you sold on this trailer? Like, because I I said that I said just the Dan Aykroyd bit at the end. I was just like, that's it. They did it. You bloody bastards! You did it. <laughs> no, honestly, I was talking to somebody else about this, and I was I was like, I feel like I've waited twenty years for this. I feel like we've, or oh, at least fifteen years, because I feel like they've been going on about this every what every five three four years i want to say it was like oh there's a new ghostbusters film coming and then it gets canned and there's a new ghostbusters film coming and it gets canned bill murray's back on board and then obviously harold ramus died and it's like what the fuck's gonna happen then then we had the 2016 film i think that's all i need to say about that <laughs> you, you love that one don't you that's your favorite film isn't it of all time no, shut up shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a film. That is it. Are you a sexist? Yeah. No, that film is not funny. That is like it's literally. Is it? If I want, if I want to watch God. Jackass, I would watch Jackass. <laughs> I wouldn't watch Ghostbusters <laughs> Twenty Six. God. No, it is. It is like this. Like in the space of five minutes, I think there's like three or four fart jokes. I don't ever remember that being in the first film. I don't you remember Maybe. Sigourney Weaver cracking a, a oh. fat fart? <laughs> yeah, but it's from the front, right? So... <laughs> oh, wow. You haven't seen the film, so they literally... No, but... I don't... <clears throat> Have you seen the Ghostbusters 2016 film, Luke? <laughs> no, I bloody refuse. <laughs> I, know, I, I, I tell you why I refuse. It's got nothing to do with like my love of Ghostbusters uh, or not. It's got uh, fucking Melissa McCarthy in it, so I just exactly, instantly refused Luke. anyway. Exactly. Right. <laughs> no, the but, least... Yeah. Funny, funny woman on the planet. She's good. Strangely enough, she's good with it. I can't remember the name of the film that she's in with Bill Murray. First, like Saint Giles. I can't remember the name of the film where she's like a single mother and Bill Murray's looking after her kid while she goes to work. And I think she's really good in that. But apart from that, I don't really like her own much else. I know Brad's looking forward to is it I'm... Thunder Force or whatever the fuck the film's called on Netflix. <laughs> We've like had this conversation before. I swear we have. Yeah, I know. Um, she was good in Mike and Molly, I'll say it again. And then she hasn't really played a different character since. Yeah, I, there's definitely people that play like, the same character. I, I, the thing is, like, those women are really funny, but the story is really la lazy. No, they're, they're good, funny people, if you enjoy that style of comedy, right? But the story's really lazy. It's really fucking lazy, and you have this huge third act that is this like CGI nonsense on screen for a good what 20 minutes and they spend the whole film going this is not the original Ghostbusters but then spends the whole film going look at this from Ghost Ghostbusters 1 and 2 do you remember this and do you remember this and do you remember this and I, I literally watched the trailer before we recorded after watching uh, the Afterlife tra trailer and it literally starts with 30 years ago Four scientists save New York, and then it shows the trailer for 2016. I was like, why the why did you put that at the beginning of this trailer if this is supposed to be something like a reboot or something completely different? Mike, Mike, what did I tell you the other day? Just calm pretend it doesn't down. exist. Yeah, well, I can pretend Just it doesn't calm exist. Down, Mike, all right. This trailer is fucking good. Um, <laughs> I just watched it. I agree, it's a good trailer. You've just watched it now, whilst I've been yes. ranting. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I, don't, I don't need to listen to you rant about a movie that you've ranted about no, on I know, I know. a weekly basis, nearly. No, it should have been good. That's the <laughs> downside. It should have been good. You go get the fucking... You get this Afterlife trailer, and you put the 2016 side by side, right? Even musically, they're fucking different. The, the CGI looks like, looks like it's from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> It does. And the whole color aesthetic of this film looks like it was. It should have been a Scooby Doo film. Mike was supposed to be <laughs> I mean, talking about. Disagree. Anyway, uh, okay. Seeing as you've just watched it, Luke, mm -hmm. what do you think of the Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer? Looks good. I'm a bit wary of it being that the kids turn into the heroes, but I'll I'll give it a chance. I'd say it worked with Stranger Things. I think Stranger Things definitely, prob definitely probably 
pushed for this to win. Wait, isn't it? there a to kid get from Stranger Things in this? Yeah. It's legit. I've seen a lot of complaints about this. And I've, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people be like, oh, it's just Stranger Things. It's even got the kid. Yeah, I understand that comparison, but how else does can that you mean, do Does that mean it's also Ant-Man? What, because Paul Rudd's in it? Yeah. And he's in, what, Walmart again? I feel like there's, there's a whole Walmart joke going around and all the rest of it, isn't there? Um, yeah. Best bit of the trailer, Luke. Sorry? Best bit of the trailer. Uh, Watched it 30 seconds ago. Uh, yeah, but... I'm, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't really say there's a best bit of the trailer. I, enjoy, I enjoyed it all. You, yeah, why okay, why would you just need to be a best bit of two and a half okay, minutes? D- are you getting like a nostalgic feel for it then? Does it feel? Does it feel like it's recapturing that classic kind of... Bear in mind, no, Mike's, I, Mike's I, probably I, watched this trailer <laughs> enough I, times, I, I, enough <laughs> times to it to it to be a film, you know. Yeah, and yeah. and pick, picked over the commentary from Jason Reitman, so he he knows where all the Easter eggs are and everything. Um, no, I'll, I'll be honest, I I didn't get nostalgia feelings from it because I think it's been that long. First of all, it's been that long since the original Ghostbusters movies were released. Second of all, it's been. Almost that as long was... since I ever watched them. <laughs> yeah, 1984 was the last time you watched them, yep. Well, no, not quite that, but I'm not like you and watch them once a week. I have kids. It, it, and I, they... I guarantee you it's been at least 15 years since I watched a Ghostbusters movie. Wow. I think I went, was it last year, the year before, with Remy to go see the was it the 35th, 30th anniversary of Ghostbusters in the cinema. And, when yeah. did we go and see it then? Was that the we 20th? went to watch the 25th. I don't 25th. Know. I know, we went to watch the 25th. I took Remy because, yeah, I was like, there are so many, there's only, I want to say there's only so many times you can see that in cinema. There's literally only, <laughs> I mean, we'll be there at the 35th. I am glad I did, well. I, I did go and watch it at the cinema because there's bits you miss. Well, like I, I, I said to someone the other day, it was like, there was, there's bits in that film that I don't think I've ever laughed at yet going to the cinema to go see it. It made me laugh twice yeah. as hard. Like the whole bit where they come out of the elevator and they shoot the maid and she's like, the hell are you doing? And then Bill Murray's like, sorry, thought you were somebody else. And like the way it's delivered at, and you watch it at home, it's like, oh, it's fine. But in the cinema, in that kind of instance, it, I just remember watching it with you and Brad. And it was really fucking funny. Really, really funny. Um, you got anything more to add, Rob? With regard, are you uh, looking forward to it? Are you going to go to the cinema? I've got so many questions yeah. for you. I'm going to take the take... kids. Yeah, take the kids. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I think it, I think it'd be good. Um, they have watched Brad, the first two, but they're not as obsessed with them as as Romy, as, as Romy and Eli. Yeah, I think it's probably been a, on this week whilst I've been at work. I expect. Bear in mind, my kids have all the toys as well, so. I mean, that probably helps. I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, <laughs> Brad. Brad, Brad. <laughs> you were a Pokemon yeah. last week. Um, what, do you, what did you think of the Ghostbusters trailer? I know you have zero fucks to give about the 2016 film. Um, uh, I know you like the first one and the second one. What do you reckon, dude? It looks really good. Like, like yeah, it's just a really well put together trailer. I think it it captures everything you want in a Ghostbusters sequel, I think. And yeah, it just, it's got a good cast. It looks good. I, yeah, I haven't got much more to say on it than that, really. I'm just excited yeah. to see it. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to watch the original two before I watch this. I, I would, I, I do want to go to the cinema for this as well. Yeah. There, there's quite a few things in this. Um, I think it's just attention to detail. The amount of attention to detail that they've put into this film is is stupendous, you know. And you think that you've seen Bill Murray in it already? I've got an inkling that <laughs> whoever's hold, holding the PKE meter, the fact that Dan Aykroyd's at the end, I've got a funny feeling that whoever's holding the PKE meter is probably Bill Murray's character, because we know they're all returning. And there was a huge Hasbro leak this week. Um, with people in costumes, which was fucking great on Hasbro. Well done for spoiling the film, but there we go. Um, Wait, toys do that a lot. Yeah, they do. They've been spoiling. I think they've been putting out stuff for Spider-Man as well. But um, yeah, I, I'm really, I'm really, really happy. Like, I can't 
explain how happy I was after I watched this trailer. It was so fucking good. And we, it was just know. like... We know. No, I know. I know, but... I don't know. It was just... They they did they did it they got it right and I'm looking forward to seeing the family's story play out you know I'm looking forward to seeing this family story play yeah out. I know it's, it's I know definitely it's like some homages to the original films in the trailer oh definitely but, but then yeah. it it doesn't feel like they're shoving it in your face you know what I mean well that was the problem that I said to you guys that I had with the 2016 film it's oh, like God, you've got God. like. <laughs> Sorry, um, <laughs> but but it lets you get you know the the bit this terror dogs are back. We kind of got it in the first trailer, which I didn't realize was as far back as twenty nineteen. It was like the back end of twenty nineteen. That's we've been waiting like a whole year, and it's gonna be like a year and a half since it should have come out by the time this drops. Um, but like the there's a there's a very short clip where you see Paul Rudd running away from Walmart, and a terror dog terror dog um, runs out. If you look at the shot, like this wasn't explained, but I saw somebody complain about the CGI. But if you look at the shot, I noticed that it's done on purpose, obviously. It's it's the the CGI is done almost as if it's stop motion, which is very akin to the original film because the way that it runs, not it, like it's janky as fuck in the first film. You get that now because we, you know, we it's moved on so much since then. Like technology's moved. They've on so made much. it look like. It is in originals. Yeah, it's so good how they've managed to do that. And it, you know, I watching the um, the thing with Jason Reitman that yeah, the, there's an animatronic in this, which is a which is a throwback to the taxi driver in the first film, the zom- zombie taxi driver, and the whole pink um, lights flashing through the sky. They apparently went back and scanned the original effects converted it to CGI and put it in this film. So yeah. Very, very cool trailer. I'm very happy with it. And it looks like it's definitely linking straight back to the first film. And we get to find out what um why Egon moved out there in the first place. I'm very look very, very happy with this. I'm looking forward to taking my family to go see this. I think that's that's the most I've got to say. I just hope we don't see any more trailers between now and November. You know there'll be one more. Uh, I don't think I'm going to watch it. I'm going to try not to watch it anyway because I feel like they spoiled it a lot. Like there's a lot in this. There's a lot of story in this trailer. If you if you know what you're looking for, there's a lot of story in this trailer. Like you you can basically guess who the villain is in this trailer. Without giving, I'm not going to spoil it, but you can kind of guess through through the stuff that's there. Anyway, I think that's probably it from us this week. Are we at an hour's time, Lucas? Just about, yeah. I think we'll probably leave it there then. Um, you boys looking forward to anything this week that's coming up? You got, you got much on over the like, next couple of weeks? Um, I, I can't remember if there's anything coming out in the next couple of weeks to watch. I'm, I'm going to borrow Mortal Kombat off my brother because he's got the DVD now, so I'm going to find you watch that. <laughs> Oh, I just realized we're probably going to get a chance to watch The Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah, that's out now, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it's out in the UK, and it, it's probably out for streaming, I think. Okay, yeah, out. I'm going to try and watch that then. Yeah. I think it's out for streaming next weekend. So I probably won't be able to take my kids to go see it. Because it's a 15, and from what I've heard, it's pretty gory. So. Yeah, good reviews, though. Yeah, it's ninety-seven percent. I think on Rotten Tomatoes at the minute. That's pretty good going for a film that got, I think, twenty-six percent on the first time around. But there we go. There's a lot of people saying it's DC's best film since Man of Steel. I think you say. I thought you were going to say since the original Superman, but there we go. The, <laughs> well, the, the, the Donner version. <laughs> uh, Luke, are you looking forward to Suicide Squad? Are you not interested in the slightest? I, I wouldn't say I'm looking forward to it, but I will definitely watch it. I don't think the first one deserved the horrendous amount of panning that it got. I, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that the first one was a classic, but to get 20% or whatever it was that you just said on Rotten Tomatoes seems a, a bit harsh. It wasn't that bad. Mm. You know, it was, like I say, it wasn't great, but you know, I, it's, it's good to hear that this one is so high in the 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, I'm, I'm not one for listening to reviews and Rotten Tomato scores. No, I I like if I like a movie, I like a movie. If I don't, I don't. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely watch it. 
Yeah. No, I, I definitely agree with you. I think it, it really goes to show when Warner Brothers in general leave people the fuck alone to do what they need to do, this is kind of the outcome. And it it goes to show that what they did with the original Suicide Squad was not great. Yeah, it's trusted not, director. <laughs> it's not yeah. a strong point of Warner Brothers, though, is it? Well, it's supposed to be. Warner Brothers is supposed to be the stu- the, the director's studio to the point where... Um, you know, um, Christopher Nolan's fallen out with them because of the whole Tenet release and all the rest of it. And then you've got Netflix this week going, we want to do whatever the fuck we can to get Christopher Nolan's yeah, next film. Yeah, they want his next film, don't they? Yeah, well, that's huge news. If they get Christopher Nolan, I then the there's, I can only imagine there's only one way that they will get Christopher Nolan's next film, and that's if they release it in the cinema. That's the only way that they'll do it. He, I, I can imagine it because he's fully supporting um, cinemas, aren't they? He so would like it be like whole... released to Netflix and then like a week later it's out in cinema? I think it'd probably be the other way around. I think it'd be a couple of weeks in the cinema, then straight on Netflix. If if they end up doing it, depends on how much uh, Netflix want to go more into debt, doesn't it? Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> I mean, they're still buying shit, aren't they? Still, I mean, they they spent quite a bit on that Mark Millar universe, yet we haven't seen anything from it yet, apart from that superhero series they just cancelled. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, the Jupiter's one I watched, Legacy. Like, yeah, Jupiter's. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's it from us this week. Um, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, uh, and you can send us an email via uh, sitrapradiopod at gmail.com. That's it from us. We'll catch you soon. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.